This is Unit 4, Lesson E. The objective today is I can multiply polynomials. There is one key term in this section, and that is the acronym of FOIL. And FOIL represents the order in which you're going to multiply two binomials. So if I give you an example of two binomials here, I, wa I want you to write this in your notes. We're going to apply the acronym of FOIL. So the F in FOIL stands for FIRST. You're going to multiply your first terms first. So that's the x in the first binomial, and actually the x in the second binomial. Those are your first terms that you're going to be multiplying. Okay, next you're going to multi or you're going to do the outside terms. So your outside terms are your x in your first binomial and your 3 in your second binomial. Next, you have I for inside terms. And your inside terms are the 2 and X. And the last thing you're going to do is actually do your last terms. And that is your 2 in your first binomial and your 3 in your second binomial. Okay, so if we take the idea of FOIL and apply it to example 1A, I'm going to just write it up here so I know I'm doing things in order. I'm going to multiply my first term by my first term. So remember, I have a degree of 1, degree of 1. When you multiply exponents to the same base, you add them. So y squared, our outside, y times 5 is 5y. Our i for inside, 7y and our L for last, 35. Okay, after you multiply, you see if you have any like terms, and I do here, I have my Y's as my like terms, for, so 5Y plus 7Y is 12Y. I drop my 35, because it's not like anything else, and I drop my Y squared, because it's not like anything else. So I can't do any more combining of like terms, so that's my answer. The next method you could do is called the box method. Okay, you have a binomial times a binomial, so two terms times two terms. So what we're going to ask you to do here is create a box with two, a two by two box. You're going to put the first binomial on top, so 5b, and remember this negative here, so negative 3, and then the second binomial on the, on the horizontally, 5b and 3. And then you're just going to multiply, just like we did in FOIL. 5b times 5b is 25b squared. 5b times negative, or 5b times negative 3 is negative 15b. 5b times 3 gets you 15b. And negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. So then you combine like terms in your box, just like you did in FOIL. 15b and negative 15b are together, but they actually cancel out. So if I write what's left, I have 25, 25, let's try that again, 25b squared minus 9. No more like terms to combine, so that's my answer. Okay, the next one, I'm going to use both methods, so whichever method you feel more comfortable with, you can use. Okay, so if I start off with FOIL, first terms, x squared times x, remember that's a degree of 1, gets me x cubed. And my outside terms, x squared times a negative 4 is a negative 4 x squared. My inside terms, negative 3 x times x is a negative 3 x squared. And my last terms, negative 3 times negative 4 is a positive 12 x. And I combine my like terms here, negative 4, remember that negative, Minus 3 is a negative 7x squared. I drop my last term, it's not like anything else. And I drop my first term, it's not like anything else. And here's my answer. Now if I did this correctly, which I know I did, we will make sure that we get the same answer with the box method. Same thing, but just different method. So I have a 2 by 2, so I'm going to make my box of a 2 by 2. From my first term on top, x squared, remember that negative in front of the 3x. And then on the bottom, x and negative 4. 
and I'm going to start multiplying. So x squared times x, x to the third, negative 3x times x, negative 3x squared, x squared times negative 4, negative 4x squared, and negative 3x times negative 4 is a positive 12x. So when I combine like terms here, I get a negative 7x squared, and then I drop down, drop down my remaining terms, and I'm good to go. Same answer. All right. Hey, let's move on to example two. Now, example two, you're going to be multiplying a binomial times a trinomial. So there's two different methods you can use to simplify. The first one is cover and distribute method, and the second one is the box method. So if we look at the first one, what we're going to do is cover one of the terms and then just distribute the open one. So I'm going to use a little tool here to cover that first term, and then I'm going to start multiplying. So I'm going to take my x and I'm going to distribute to all three terms and multiply. So x to the first power times x cubed, times x squared, sorry, is x cubed. x times 5x, 5x squared, x times negative 3x, negative 3x. Sorry, x times negative 3 is negative 3x. I'm jumping the gun here. Okay, so then I'm going to cover my second term, or my first term, and distribute my second term. All these pen actions. All right, so we're going to take the x, or the 7, and multiply that to all three terms. So 7x squared, 7 times x squared is 7x squared. 7 times 5x is 35x, and 7 times negative 3 is negative 21. All right, now I'm going to combine my like terms. I have an x cubed. Well, nothing's like that, so I'm going to rewrite it, cross that out. Then I have, let's see, an x squared here. I have an x squared here. No more x squared. So 5 plus 7 gets me 12x squared. Those are done. Then I have an x and an x. Negative 3 and 35 is 32x. And the only thing remaining is our constant of 21. So x, x cubed plus 12x squared plus 32x minus 21 is our answer. So that's the cover method. The next method you could use is the box method, just like we did up above with FOIL. This is a two terms times three terms, so that's the type of box you're going to create. So, make a nice long box this time. Two on top and three going down. So I'm going to write my first term, my first uh, polynomial on top, 3x and negative 5, and my trinomial going vertically down. 2x squared, a positive 7x, and a negative 11. And then I'm going to start multiplying. So 3x times 2x squared is 6x cubed. 2x squared times negative 5 is negative 10x squared. 3x times 7x is 21x squared. Negative 5 times 7x is negative 35x. Negative 11 times 3x is negative 33x. And negative 5 times negative 11 is 55. Okay, now I'm going to combine like terms. I have my x squared together. And I have my x's together. So I'm going to write with my combined like terms. So 6x cubed is by itself. And I have my x squared, 21 minus 10, or 21 plus a negative 10, gets me a positive 11x squared. And I'm going to take my x's. Negative 35 and negative 33 gets me a negative 68x. And then what's remaining is my 55. Okay, so either way, if you want to use the cover and distribute or the box method, whichever way you're more comfortable with, we want you to use. Okay, the U tries we're going to use for class, last example, 
Example 3a, we want you to find the area. Now we know that the area equals length times width. So that's all we're going to do here is multiply length times width. So the length of our rectangle is x plus 5. And we're going to multiply that to the width, which is 2x minus 9. Now again, you could use either method here, FOIL, or you can use the box method, whichever one you're comfortable with. I'm just going to use FOIL. <coughs> so my first term, x times 2x, 2x squared. My outside terms, negative 9 times x is negative 9x. My inside terms, 5 times 2x is 10x. And my last terms, now, 5 times negative 9 is a negative 45. I'm going to combine my like terms, my x's, and I get 2x squared. My nine, negative 9 plus 10 is a positive x, and I drop my negative 45. Okay, the, U, the next you try for area you do in class. Um, after watching the video, you can make sure you write that down. If you have any questions, you fill that out and you circle what you're going to do to help yourself throughout the lesson. See you tomorrow in class.